this is going to be quick for uh, demonstration of the software glitch between the X tool scan and scan and it's V shape. Okay. What happens is uh, when the scan tool, I think it's, ju it's not just scan, uh, X tool, maybe most probably other scanners also is uh, doing the same. Uh, but let's stick here to X tool. And what's happening? Uh, what happens is um, when the scanner starts start scan the modules. First, it scans the multi-point fuel injector, then automatic transmission, then uh, cruise control, then ABS. All right. Once it starts scanning the ABS, it's causing uh, disturbing in the signal between the ABS and the transmission TCM. So when you when you scan the second time. You will see the uh, fault code in the P1773 in the TCM. So, uh, as you saw now, it's already there because the last time I didn't clear the code. I'll clear it now. I'll fast forward. I'll clear it now. Scan it. Show you in the first attempt. It's nothing is there. But then when we scan it for the second time, or we go to the man manually to the transmission we'll see the code there okay now it, it finished the scanning it's clear oh, let's shut down this first Duct on. clear all the issues okay now it's clear yes it's just Again, you'll see now after cleaning, after cl after clearing the codes, there will be no no codes stored in the transmission. Okay. If I pause now and scan again, nothing will happen. But now, just now, because it starts scanning the ABS, it will. In the background, uh, I mean, if, if I go to transmission now, the code will be there. I can pause if you. Uh, let's pause now. Okay. Yes. If we go to transmission, code will be there. See. This is a false positive uh, code. Nothing to worry about. If we scan now, it will be there. And if we re read the freeze frame, uh, as you can see, I didn't move the car. It will show this was here. Okay, for transmission diagnosis. We go to sorry if we freeze frame I didn't even move the car so and this accumulated minutes it's just one second or less maybe yeah anyway and actually in the in the service manual in, in order to trip a code it should be Above 50 km per hour or so. Anyway, let's just clear the code from here also. Yes. Okay.
E. There's no problem now because we just cleared it. If I pause now, oh, okay. Let's let's just do it one more time, and uh, I will do it. I will do a scan, and I pause. I will pause it before the ABS. It was now. There's no need to continue actually, because we you know what's happening. Okay. If I go scan again, it will come now. As you can see, what is there? Okay, let's clear all the codes. It's just one code. So, okay, it's cleared. Let's go back. Scan and I will pause before it reach. Okay, two, three, pause. So now it should not touch the ABS after scanning the automatic thrust cross control. We go back, yes, automatic scan again. I'll let it complete this time, but it will not show in the transmission anything because it didn't touch. ABS. See? No code. Now, since it's scanning the ABS, it caused that problem with the transmission. You can pause now. There's no need to continue. Go back. Yes. Automatic scanning. Now it will, it will trip the code. Here's the fellow that's paused. There's no need to continue. What is our record? Read. Here it is. And the freeze frame. Same. Same values. Those values are from previous software before the update. It was tripping at uh, 115. Now it's 116. Uh, I have a strong belief it's from the scanner tool side, this issue, or the way it's communicating with ABS. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't know what's the code behind this software, nor the how is the TCM and uh, ABS is uh, coded. So, here's another way to prove it. Okay. I'll go manually to the transmission. There's no code here. So, the moment I will start uh, communicating with the ABS, it will cause the problem in the uh, transmission. I mean, not a real problem, but it will trip the code. Now it's communicating with the ABS. I didn't touch anything. Just communicating. Let's go back. Transmission. Read codes. No codes. Fine. So, let's go one more step and try to communicate with something in the ABS. Uh, live data. No, let's let's do a read code first. There's no read code, of course. There's no code. Let's see if that causes any problem. No, good. So, ABS again. Live data. Go back. There you go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.